Thank you, Aaron. Thank you, Provost Unit Ewitt. Uh, it's a pleasure to be here, um, and it's an incredible time in Flint. So it is a dark time, um, but we only see hope, and we see hope uh, because of this building, because of our community, because of the collaborations we already have. So I am. I have that hope because of the foundation that was already laid here. As you said, MSU has been in Flint and Genesee County for 100 years. The medical school has been here about 40 years. I was a medical student here about just a couple 20 years ago. Um, and I came back to Flint about five, six years ago because of the public health integration to the community. I came back here because I heard that the public health program was moving to Flint. Um, and that's why I wanted to be here because it's pediatrics, it's primary care and public health. We often live in silos, but when we work together, we can do great things. Um, so that's what the pediatric public health initiative is all about. It's about hope. It's about a better tomorrow. Um, it is a collaboration between Hurley Children's Hospital and Michigan State University, and it's a reinvestment in our community. Just like MSU has been here over 100 years, Hurley has been here 100 years. We're the only children's hospital around. We're a public hospital. We're a nonprofit academic hospital. Um, and it's us and it's Lang Grant University that has come up with this initiative to reinvest in our community. Um, and we're going to do three things, or we hope to do three things. Um, the first is the assessment, the continued ongoing research on what happened, how bad was this exposure. Um, so it's a lot of that really kind of hardcore research that's ongoing um, in, reg in regards to the extent of this exposure. Um, the second arm of what we're going to be doing is the monitoring, and we're committed to doing that long-term follow-up of this, these children, 20-year um, kind of trajectory of following this cohort of potentially exposed children. Um, and that is with all of the experts of MSU and Hurley, including environmental health folks and toxicologists and epidemiologists and education folks and medical geographers and developmental psychologists and psychiatrists. So it's a whole team of experts working with um, community and government um, to, to follow these children. And the last arm of this initiative, and this is where I have hope, and this is where we're going to have hope, and this is where we're going to see a better tomorrow. This is where we are trying to build this model public health program, a center of excellence. We are flipping the story. We are throwing every single intervention at these kids, and we're doing it now. We're trying to get um, universal preschool and our MSU education partners are helping us with that. And we're trying to bring in early literacy programs and child care support and MSU Extension is working with us and nutrition education, both with Hurley Wellness and MSU Extension. So we are doing lots of things for these children. And this is what has never been done before. So we've had bad things happen. We've, we've This community is already rattled with so many toxic stress. These kids have already built in so many obstacles to their success from poverty and unemployment and violence and economic disinvestment. And lead was an added risk factor for these children. So we're bringing into the community what we should have been bringing into this community decades ago, but now we're doing it and we're going to study it. Um, and it's going to be at the pediatric level and the adult level, because you can't have healthy kids without having healthy adults, um, kind of entire population health model. And that's what we're going to be assessing. And that's the model public health program that we're going to build. And that's what we're going to share with the nation. So in 20 years, when we are looking at these kids, we're going to be like, wow, look what Flint did. Look at this really cool initiative they built. And look how they flipped the story. And these kids did not become the statistics um, of lead poisoning. So I'm grateful to be here. I think that I'm grateful for the foundation that was built with them from the Mott Foundation and MSU and the, um, for the years and years of people who have been doing this work. And I, I stand on the shoulders of giants doing, doing this work and we are committed to doing it and committing to being here for the long haul and working, um, uh, as Aaron said, closely with the community, um, collaborating with the community um, and, as we move forward. So thank you. Thank you very much.